in the news, we have some interesting developments considering my favorite, the most popular and most beloved Instagram page in the world, Hidden.ny. They've decided to collaborate with Needles, a collaboration of two of the greatest forces within menswear and streetwear have come together to present yet another reconstructed collection. <laughs> Woohoo! Just what we needed, right? We were all devoid of inspiration, not knowing what to wear, not knowing what to buy, how to drop it, how to swag it, how to flex it. And then bang, here comes Hidden and Y and Needles with a reconstructed collection like it's 2016. Yay, motherfucking yay. Obviously not. Obviously not my favourite. Obviously this collection is absolutely tired with a capital T or as the sassy ladies and the gays say on social, tired, right? Or whatever that word, how they put it together. I know I probably fucked it up there. But again, I'm not the coolest person in the world. So please forgive me. But regardless, this Hidden and Needles collaboration is tired, is bored, it's lacking... Um, it's lacking innovation, freshness, whatever it may be called. And I actually feel sad for Needles because if anything, this is a living representation and manifestation that your brand is dead. Do you remember back in the day when if you collaborated with the hundreds, it meant that your brand was shit? This is a good, this is a good example of it. At least with the hundreds, Bobby and Ben and them, man, they've survived nuclear storms. They're like, what, 10 plus years, maybe approaching 20 years in the game, maybe even more than 20 years in the game, still putting out stuff that people want to wear, still putting out stuff that connects with a certain demographic of people and still selling out of collections and products, still doing the damn thing. Bobby still follows all over the place, writes books, all that good stuff. They smashed it. They're certified. But when Needles, a very well-established, well-liked brand such as Needles, a brand that has far more in its collection than just the track jacket and the track pants, but unfortunately, a couple of kids decided to wear the track pants and the track jacket and then the reconstructed flannels, and that was it for the rest of the collection. It didn't exist after the fact. Because of that, they've been pigeonholed into being this reconstructed brand when they have far more to them than reconstructed. But of course, because of that, no one cares about anything else they put out. They need to restart their brand, get it back into the cultural zeitgeist, find that spark, find that life again, find the, the, the whatever connection they have with their customers. And they think that this is the best way to go forward because, of course, Hidden NY, I think, has a lot of followers. I wouldn't know because I'm blocked. I had no idea how many followers they have. I'm sure it's a lot. They probably have way over 100,000, maybe two, maybe three, maybe four, maybe five. Who knows? But I get it. In Needle's head, they probably think, you know what? They've got the youth market in their hands. They're regurgitating pictures they found online with no context, with no explanation. They've not, you know, they're just rehashing the same picture you see all over the place on your timeline and presenting it as some sort of, um, you know, um, some sort of a representation of their taste level when really and truly they know absolutely jack shit about images that they're putting out there. But they've got the kids in their hands. So if we collaborate with him or with that page, then hopefully we'll get our band back up to the, you know, where it needs to be. But imagine, right? Because maybe because Hidden and Why it's a faceless thing. You don't know who's behind it. Is it one person? Is it two people? You don't know. You, you just have a feeling the guy is going to be a cornball. Let's say we don't know who the person is. Fair. That's okay. We don't know who the person is. But this is just as bad if, imagine if Capital collaborated with Little Jupiter. If you saw a collaboration with, instead of that smiley face, it was Little Jupiter's face doing that weird like face that he does when he poses with sneakers. Imagine how lame that would be. It's the same thing. It's just lame. It's absolutely lame. And it's like, what six or seven years too late in my opinion but again i feel sad for needles because i do remember there was a point in time where i'm pretty sure somebody in the industry told me or maybe i saw it online that needles for a, a particular amount of seasons weren't allowing stores to purchase just the trank pants on their own they were requesting that they purchase the whole entire thing or maybe it was how they sold it online i forgot what it was but it was a period of time where the the track pants were selling so well that they were basically being left with a surplus of jackets that weren't selling at all because people just bought the track pants. Because if you're familiar with needles, if you go on the actual site, uh, needles.jp, I forgot how, what the site store of URL is, but you'll find it on Google, you can search for it. The actual track suit is always made in consideration with a jacket. It's never just made as a pant alone, but they sell the pants separately. And because the pants became popular, people just bought the pants and they had a surplus of jackets just sitting there waiting to go into the scrap heap somewhere. Do you know what I mean? So for a period of time, they're like, no, we have to enforce this buy the full thing collection. And it didn't work because everyone stopped buying them after a while. Then they allow people to buy them individually. And now they're now here they are collaborating with Instagram pages in effort to get their kind of mojo back. And I feel sad for them, to be honest. I feel really, really sad because the items themselves on their own aren't that bad. Right. But the logo, the name, 
walking around with that circle and that with a H on the inside. It's just lame. Who would want that? That's as bad. Again, maybe because kids are different and it's all minimalism and all this shit. But this is no better than the Adam Bomb for me. That Adam Bomb for me was a representation of when Hundreds died. And I was the biggest Hundreds fanboy. I loved Bobby Hundreds. I used to read his blog every day. I'd be flipping um one of his reply guys on social media. I flipping suck that guy off good and proper back in the day when I was a kid. Right. I loved their his relationship with Ben Hundreds. I love the fact that they built that thing from the ground up and they, you know, basically gave loads of people from that from that store, that kind of universe careers. They've gone on to do their own things. Many people who are kind of remembered now who have gone on to carve their own careers in streetwear off the back of that. We got introduced to maybe maybe all of us maybe found brands like Diamond and Co. Supply all through flipping um um hundreds. But the moment that Adam Bomb came came around that was when they kind of crossed into the zoomies th thing they became a real commercial brand and ever since then i didn't really care for the brand too much and i think that h is the same thing that circle h thing is such a corny cringy logo i would never be see dead dead wearing it absolutely dead wearing it dead 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 it looks so terrible absolutely hate it um but the, again the shirts themselves don't look too shabby but again they're too little too late if anything they look quite similar to what kiko did a while ago um again that was a long time ago have you ever seen them do anything reconstructed again no because it's not fresh the logo is even a bit shit i feel like what they do is just you know it's a little bit instagram graphic designer do you know what i mean it's just nothing if it stands out I wonder if the, all these logos are the ones that they crowdsource because they love doing those competitions, isn't it? Design our logo for us because we don't know what we're doing. Tell us what direction you should go. Our it's like, come on, man. You're crowdsourcing your flipping designs. You jack all your pictures from the internet with no context and no information, nothing to educate or inspire the kids. You rehash the same images that everyone else has used. You're not championing anyone. It's not like they even got like a taste like, for instance, who, who is Celebrity Vice? You may not agree with all his opinions. I definitely don't. But you know where he stands on certain things. He doesn't fuck with Drake, right? <laughs> he fucks with all those other guys that are in the Virgil Abloh universe, um, RIP. Like he has a, a distinct taste level, right? Of who people that he likes and doesn't like. But this is just like standard things. It's just like whatever it may be. And I'm sure for the guy himself or for the people that do it, they're probably over the moon, but it's just trash. It really is. Like as a garment itself, it's not too shabby. Don't get me wrong. The hoodie and stuff, like cool. But to be seen wearing a any jumper, any clothing like this outside of merch that's got hidden on it is just, nah, I can't do that. It's just not happening. It really isn't. I don't know what kid is going to legitimately spend needles money to buy hidden and white merch. That's what you're doing, basically. You're spending needles money to buy hidden and white merch. Imagine that. Like, come on, man. Like, what, what, what guy is going to go out? Again, I know there's some cool, sharp dudes out there, right, that are wearing, you know, light denim with white socks and their penny loafers with their vest underneath and Vivian Westwood pearls and fingernails painted and shit. Right, the cool kids, right? Like, they're doing their thing. They're on it. They're on TikTok posting their outfits and stuff. But imagine wearing this with that on the bottom of it. Why don't you just buy the actual needles jacket? Why don't you buy even secondhand? You could probably pick one up for a pretty decent price. Why would you want that H on your chest? Like, really? It's like the sign of an anti, it's like the anti call sign you put that on your chest for me personally. Um, the t shirts are probably the best thing in a the collection, right? These, the navy, I think there's a gray as well, right? Yeah, there's a gray too. But the interesting thing about it, the t shirts are the best. Why? Because that logo, this sort of hidden logo here in the front, um, on the front chest, like design placement, right? This kind of looks similar to me to like Aphex. Is it Aphex? Aphex, how you pronounce that brand? It's a similar sort of placement, similar sort of um, design. No, don't, don't, is it all my, all my bugging? It looks very, very similar. So that's probably why it looks so cool. Um, so, they, see what I mean? They can't even, they're doing a collaboration with a, you know, a very well known, well respected Japanese brand. They get a chance to do whatever they want, come with it with fresh ideas, and then they go and just jack the Afix logo and try and just write hidden there instead. It's just like, it tells you everything you need to know about that brand, isn't it? Like, come on, man. Now, I'm thinking, right? What's more lame? Wearing a pair of hidden socks, right? The socks with the H with a circle, that logo, or wearing the, you know, the old school um, Huff um, weed socks. Because you could wear the weed socks now as a sort of weird little nod um, tribute to Keith Huffenegel, the founder of Huff, who unfortunately passed away, I think to like brain cancer or something tragic like that, right? You could wear that as a tribute to, to him and what he, he kind of built with Huff. You know, the weed socks unironically, 
but they're still lame, right? Those weed socks, they're still fucking lame. I had a pair. I know. I had a pair. Camden, you know what I mean? I, I think I even bought them from Camden Market. It probably weren't even legit. I had a pair. Trust me. Absolutely terrible. But imagine wearing, what would you, what would you, what would you like, what's the, what's worse? What's definitely worse? The H socks or the weed socks? Let me know in the comments down below what's worse because I can't I can't tell. I think they're both as terrible. There's probably a kid out there who's gonna wear both of them. Who's gonna wear one once one foot with weed socks, one foot with H socks, and think <laughs> and think he's stunting. And I'm gonna be like, no, mate, you're not stunting. You look like an absolute weapon. Like, nah, I'm not I'm not for it at all. I think they look trash. Not for me. And if anything, like I said, it's just it's sad for needles because this definitely does represent that they've kind of kind of died essentially right through no fault of their own they make good clothes um i think their lookbooks are pretty interesting and cool um it's just they happen to stumble upon a hit in terms of the track pants people love them so much to the point where that's the only thing they wore then they then they progressed into the flipping reconstructed flannels they were a big hit and after that it was a wrap because that was a thing back in the day, right? Wearing the reconstructed flannels, a pair of skinny Subies and some Jordans. That was a look. And then, of course, that look is completely died now for the most part. But still, kids still like that sort of shit. And now you've got them available on, you know, AliExpress and shit from fake places. Like, it's completely gone, that, that trend. It's absolutely died in the water. I'm pretty sure you probably be able to find a reconstructed top on Sheen, on something like that. If you looked hard enough, I'm pretty sure you can find one on there too. Maybe someone's selling one on Etsy. Like, it's just absolutely dead in the water. And I feel sad. I feel really bad for them because the last thing anyone wants to do is collaborate with Hidden and actually make it an actual product and sell it for actual prices. Like, I can't imagine it. But yeah, I guess in another sense, it could be a good thing because it could introduce a whole bunch of kids who don't really know of, um, you know, the whole reconstructed trend because there's plenty of kids who have probably been born or been, who've kind of got an interest in streetwear or in fashion from the the years of 2016 to now so maybe this is the time to maybe reintroduce it back to them again but for me eh -eh. big eh -eh for me big big eh -eh.